Hey and welcome to Not Only Hollywood. Today I'm going to review It Comes from 2018. This is a Japanese horror movie. We follow a family of three who seem to live a normal and happy life. But then something emerges from the past that's looking for the young girl in the family. And the father of the little girl recognizes this invisible monster from the past. What's going on? Oh, those names. Tetsuya, Tetsuya Nakashima is my favorite director from Japan. He's the best visual director in Japan after what I have seen over the years. He's unique and I'm a big fan of the movies he has made. He has made movies such as Memories of Matsuko, Confessions and The World of Kanako. I was very excited about what he could do when he made a horror movie. I have to admit that I was a little disappointed with this movie. The movie is too cheerful and energetic to be a pure horror movie. It Comes takes up several topics and this is a movie you have to keep your concentration up from start to finish. Several of the topics are interesting but when it came to the invisible monster I didn't understand much. I understood some of the topics, but towards the end there was too much dialogue and information so my brain completely shut down. I also noticed that the runtime was too long. The runtime is around 133 minutes. If I should have seen the movie again, then I would have preferred a shorter runtime. 100 minutes would have been perfect. It's not that tempting to watch the movie again as the runtime becomes too long and there are too many scenes that last too long with the dialogue I didn't find so interesting. Especially in the last 40 minutes I almost had enough of all the dialogue. But it comes stands out in this genre. But sometimes there's too much dialogue and different topics in the same movie. And then the director must be able to have full control. I didn't feel that Tetsuya Nakashima had full control in this movie. I felt that my engagement disappeared after 100 minutes. We get to see some amazing visual scenes. But I wish I got to see more and slightly longer sequences with a fitting soundtrack and a proper climax. There are some good things to see here towards the end of the movie. But I didn't quite feel that the pictures and soundtrack lifted the movie to the level I expected. I saw and felt that the movie could have given us more energy and punch when it built up to the final climax. I didn't smile during the climax. That's a bad sign. From 1 to 10 I give It Comes a 5 out of 10. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.